Apologies for any noise, but I've got the air on because it's a hot one today and it's only going to get hotter. I have Volcano Menu Hacks from Taco Bell. Stay tuned. Life gets pretty weird sometimes. You don't always want to cook. So sit down in your chair right there and have yourself a look. We're going through the drive through and getting some fast food. Then we'll eat and talk about if it's bad or good. It's eating fast food in the car and talking about it with Andy. Ugh. All right, we are back at Taco Bell playing around with the volcano menu a little bit. As I mentioned in the previous video, I have some ideas for some things I wanted to try. I don't want to call it a secret menu. It's very unofficial. I'm going to call it hacks because there's I'm mixing some things up. Uh, the first thing I've got is a way to get the volcano burrito but cheaper. So I made some notes that I'm going to refer to. The regular Volcano Burrito has beef, rice, fiesta strips, sour cream, cheese, and the lava sauce. If you go into the value menu, you can get a beefy melt burrito, which also has beef, nacho cheese, and three blend cheese. So you have more cheese, uh, rice, and fiesta strips. It is $2. You add the lava sauce for a buck, you get the same thing as the Volcano Burrito for $3 instead of $4.29. Prices may vary based on location. I've got that here. We're going to try it. See how it stacks up. That's good. I mean, it is virtually identical to the uh, regular Volcano Burrito, except more cheese. And who's going to say no to more cheese? Now, not having the other one here to do a side-by-side -side comparison, can't tell you if it tastes exactly the same. I don't know why it wouldn't. It is literally the same ingredients. They do call the Volcano Menu one a double beef burrito, so possibly you're missing out on some beef here. I don't know for sure. Could just be marketing. Tastes good. I do have to say, it tastes good. All right, we're going to put that aside and move on to the next one. Now, this next thing I've got, uh, it's a creation of my own can't give you an accurate price on it because I used a reward that I had. Uh, I, I took a chalupa, swapped chicken for beef, and added the lava sauce. I'm a big fan of their chalupas as long as they're done right. If they're if they're fried too hard and they sit too long, the shell gets a little 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 rough. Um, normally chalupa shell, big fan. Chicken chalupas especially. Excited to try this with the lava sauce on there too. on there that's really good chalupa shell is done uh, in a in a good way it's crispy the lava sauce and sour cream blend really well together I like that flavor a lot works really good with the chicken big fan of this one yeah just the right level of spice a little bit of like almost sweetness in there I like this a lot. All right, moving aside from that, the third one, this is stupid, it's expensive, uh, but it sounded good and I wanted to try it. I used to love the Double Decker Taco. I'm annoyed that they got rid of that. So, made my own. You're gonna have to do a little work with this one. Uh, I got a Hard Taco Supreme for the inside. Briefly thought about doing a, a Doritos Loco Taco with this. I think that would be way over the top. But, like, I already spent enough on this already. Didn't want to go Dorito Loco. But consider it if you'd like to try. Then, for the outside, you're going to think soft taco. No. What you're going to do is get the uh, potato soft taco. It's a dollar. Remove everything from it. Add beans for 50 cents and uh, lava sauce for a buck. Gives you the outside shell for two fifty. We're gonna throw a regular taco inside. Ooh, maybe maybe don't look at this too close because it looks horrible. But we've got beans and lava sauce, and I'm sure they question my my methods. And we got our hard taco supreme that is broken. Lovely. Okay, made the transfer. Fold that up. Ooh boy. Ah. Need napkins at the ready. So we have a lava double decker taco supreme. 
pretty good. I haven't had one of these in a long time. I mean, obviously, never a lava one, but a double-decker taco, it's been a long time since I've had one. Um, still tastes good. Still wish they had it back. Lava sauce is a nice addition, I gotta say. I think to put this together was about five bucks, which is a lot for this. So, would I get it again? No. Uh, is it fun to have once? I'd say. Honestly, if they didn't get rid of the Double Decker Taco, adding the lava sauce to this is a no-brainer. It's very tasty, uh, works well, but again, to put it together by yourself, I don't think it's worth it, just from a, a strictly a cost standpoint. Well, those are my Volcano Menu Hacks. Uh, I really like the uh, uh, Chalupa. Double Decker Taco tastes good, cost standpoint, I don't think is worth it. And then the the burrito, that's the way to go. It takes a little work customizing. Instead of one click in the app or saying what you want, you have to take that extra step to customize. But you're saving whatever I said, saving a buck fifty every time. So if you are a, a big volcano burrito fan, that could add up. I think that one's definitely worth it. The chalupa is worth trying. The uh, the double decker taco thing, I liked it, but like it's stupid. Don't do that one. I am interested to know uh, any other combinations you guys come up with or are interested in. I can't guarantee I'll get back to try them, but I always like to hear about them. All right, that's all the time we have today. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week.